Yoshi, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a new-to-me shop unbagging. This is One Day Saving. I've never shopped there. Have you? Let me know in the comments below. But yes, we do have a just small unbagging. Only picked up a couple of things. I wanted to check out One Day Savings for myself and see what's the what on what so let's get into it okay so before we start i thought i would let you know that along with my items they did send me a code i'll put it somewhere somewhere on the screen it'll be bright red so you can see it um you can have five percent off with our very own channel code dark 5 off and then um if you order over fifty dollars you get two free gifts yay all right so those sound like some pretty cool deals so hopefully we got some cool stuff in here let's see yay okay ready ready here we go um the first thing i'm noticing is it was mailed in like one of these thin crinkly like mailer bags uh they they are pretty like rip resistant but they are also thin so um i'm scared a little bit about canvas health <laughs> if you will um but we'll see what's going on all right so i did get a canvas let's pull it on out and take a peeky poo here so this is a 30 by 40 square drill canvas you guys i saw this and i was like let's let's try it try us out a square i've been i've been kind of on the square train lately anybody else like i, I don't know why rounds go faster i I'm not sure. I've been I've been on the square train. I've been using my squares rulers, but I've also been using um, the when I'm not using my rulers, I'm using the checkerboard method. And I I don't know. I guess I've just been really enjoying the process. <laughs> so let me get this light out of the way so we can actually see what we're looking at. We are the weirdos. So I saw this and I was like, you know. It just reminded me of the line from the craft that Nancy says. So uh, I, I liked that. I'll give you a better look at the the image here in just a second. It's kind of not help it at all by doing that. <laughs> Mushy, what is your problem? Maybe if we peel back the what should I call it? and kind of smooth it out now this almost looks like it has it has like that almost photo negative type of image on here so we'll have to take a really close look so we can kind of see what's going on i will show you the thumbnail so you can actually see the image so let's just first things first first things first let's get the the cellophane straightened out maybe help us straighten out the canvas a little bit this is a softer canvas it does still have the situation it's not a complete fabric but it feels like it's a fabric mix it is pliable and bendable and movable but does have some of that sturdiness also did that make sense you know what i mean um it's the it's the mix it's the like mix so um like i said we do have ourselves a 30 by 40 canvas square drill inside we do get our toolkit uh this is an like unusually small boat is it not i'm gonna get out just like another generic boat that's similar that could eat it for breakfast yeah so this is this seems to be like a um a little smaller than average boat um i'm gonna take a look at this inquiring minds want to know i don't know that i've seen a boat quite this small it does have a pour spout which i like but yeah this you guys this is kind of a really a really small boat compared to the normal size that 
we get in, in a lot of kits that include this type of boat. It is a step up from the green one, I guess, but because uh, of the poor spout. But yeah, so here's the white boat. We do get a large square of wax. It is perforated in the center here. So uh, you cut it into fours. It's kind of four small pads of wax, pad of wax. Um, <laughs> Kit Kat Penny anyway. And then we have some metal tweezers. Uh, they are, I mean, they're not murder tweezers in that, like, I can touch this and it's not, like, really hurting me, but it does come to a fine point. It is rubber banded to uh, help keep them closed and safe. And then it looks like we have a pen complete with a squishy and we have, uh, metal tip on one side and a multi-placer already put on here this looks like it could be a one two three placer and then we have a bigger multi-placer maybe a, a six or an eight I'm not good at eyeballing these multi-placers can you tell I don't multi-place much but <laughs> there's what we have for our base toolkit and now let's take a look at the canvas itself and um, see what we can see. Now, my first observation about the, this canvas is these borders though. <laughs> these borders, I mean, this might be, this might be the biggest border I think I've seen on a diamond painting canvas ever, ever. And I've been diamond painting for about five years. So um, this might be a, a record. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's measure the entire canvas first. The entire canvas is 41 on the horizontal by uh, 45 and a half on the vertical. Okay. All right. So at least, you know, the canvas is a little bit bigger. Let's do the drill field. 30. You guys. Uh-oh. Am I about to be impressed? 30 by... Um, it looks like 39 and a half. That's okay. That's close enough. <laughs> when I saw these big borders, I got scared. But you guys, the actual drill field is close enough to 30 by 40, the promised size. So, hey, this is, okay, take note, call, you know, Guinness Book of World Records or like, you know, make a note. This is the first time I personally have ever ever seen where we get a canvas with big borders like this um and then come to find out the drill field is actually what was promised yay okay all right i'm down i'm down with that so well let's take a look at the canvas and see what there is to see we do have two tables on our canvas one up here and one down here which is nice and they also include two thumbnails with the tables so let me get you in on the thumbnail it's because the image is a little bit like the photo negative type so it's kind of hard to see so let's look at the thumbnail this is our diamond painting we are the weirdos yes and it is a square it's kind of kind of creepy I don't know who's creepier <laughs> this girl with her like really big eyes or this skeleton situation here does he have wings it I think he does but if he doesn't she does right I think so so our legend here is unique in that it does tell you the quantity of drills that you receive. Uh, I do see that the legend is a mixture of numbers, letters, and symbols, not in any discernible order. Uh, part of my brain um, just died inside, but that's okay. It's okay. It, it can be dealt with when we kit up and arrange our containers. We'll just put it in order. So, <laughs> and we won't even see this. We'll tape over it. Um, but yes, here we've got uh, DMC 159 through 37.99 on this. But if you want to see what kind of symbology is on here. And while we're looking, I'm going to be kind of looking at... I'm going to move it over here. Sorry. I'm going to be kind of looking at like... I'm looking at you, number four. You dark gray um, background with a dark number. I can't even really tell what that... That's a six. Um this dark six on a dark background dark two on a dark background 
those kind of those are making me nervous we might look for those on the canvas um what is that where did it go the dark tea on a dark background yet yeah, some of these are making me a little nervous uh i have to admit i'm seeing a lot of dark letters on a lot of dark backgrounds I don't see any really abnormal symbols or anything like that. Nothing too out of the out of the ordinary. Nothing too similar. Um, the only thing I'm concerned with is the potential for this dark symbol on a dark background. So let's take us a look see at the canvas up close. Now, just know that you know this canvas is literally like two inches from your eyeball uh, or the camera's eyeball, really, but. So everything's obviously going to be a lot clearer when I have it this close. Um, there are some of those dark ones there, you guys. There's like that dark lowercase t on a dark background. That one doesn't seem so bad, but look at that six, you guys. That uh, six, dark six on a dark background. Mm. Uh, I'm hoping, uh, hoping with the light board that that won't be too bad. Uh, if you don't use a light board, um, you know, I'll send you some good vibes and well wishes. <laughs> I can imagine that that might be relatively difficult to see. But yeah, the draw field looks clear. It does have kind of like the, um, I guess you could call it, people often call it dummy circles or training circles for this on the, on round drill canvases. This does seem to have like the square version of that, which is fine with me. Um, any help I can get placing it in the right place, uh, please. Yes, please. So here's some of the other darker ones on slightly darker that, um, don't seem to be posing a problem like that dark U on a, on a maroon background, that four, that two, that I was concerned about. Those seem to be fine. Um, it's really, I think that six was a little nerve wracking. Um, and that T, that lowercase T, not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the draw field is exceptionally clear, um, in my opinion. Um, I don't really see anything too, too scary sketchy or creepy about any of these other letters or symbols aside from you know the darkness on darkness but again i do use a light board so it shouldn't be too bad for me and i'm just i'm i'm sorry i'm stumbling on my words a little bit because i am like super impressed by i saw these big big borders and i thought oh no but the fact that the drill field is pretty true to size I think just you know a couple centimeters off not not too bad not even a whole centimeter I think it was like half a centimeter so yeah you guys um that's impressive I am happy with that I think this image might just turn out to be all right look at that and with it being square we'll get a little bit more detail so let's take a look at the drill and the drills come in a less crinkly, uh, more plasticky feeling sleeve uh, to spare us from the wrath of the crinkle mater. And this is individually baggied. So if you are someone who works out of baggies, that's really nice. Let's take a look at some of the color palette here. Let me see. I'm going to turn the painting around so we have the white background so that you can see the colors a little bit better. What do you think? That's some blues, mauves, some dank green right there like that. You are not 510. You're number 500. Is that like a dark blue? Okay. Well, that was surprising. I thought for sure that would be our 310 um, tormentor, but no. Some beige. There's some more. I'm putting kind of putting these in color family so you can kind of get an idea of the of the color scheme here. That's kind of a gray. This is like a blue gray. That's a green. There's a lot of variation. This is gonna be oh, this is pretty. Look at that peach color. This has got a lot of green in it, a lot more green in it than I thought. You guys check that out. With some um and, and it looks like blue and blue gray seems to be a pretty predominant color in the palette as well. 
I'm seeing some other colors here. We've got some brown. This is kind of a brown green. Kind of put that up there a little bit. Um, 939. There it is. If it wasn't 310, it was going to be 939. But guess what? 310. <laughs> we found it. And we do have some um, mauve purple situation here, which is really pretty. I am here for this, you guys. I'm. I am here for this. Some blues, some more dank green, some lighter green, some mildew green. And, you know, some people might be like, oh, mushy, dank green, mildew green. Hey, that's my love language, you guys. Those are my love colors. <laughs> they, I mean, no offense. I like it. All right. With some dark purples and lighter purple. So here's kind of our our color palette here you guys we got this whole section over here is a bunch of varying tones of green this is our you know darker black and dark blue here's some you know gray blues here our purples here we do have a, a hint of the brown over here and this really big bag of pretty peach so and not a pink in sight yeah all right well you guys and you know so I'm I'm happy so far. I'm looking at the baggies. Everything looks clean in there. There's pretty clean there. I don't see any obvious signs of trash or dust. So that's nice. And then I had to get something. I saw I saw something. It's in the bag. I'm going to pull it out, right? But um when you get a diamond painting, it's hard to resist the urge to get a accessory also. So yeah, I got an accessory and I, and I saw this one and was thinking, I've recently seen some people um, on TikTok and here on YouTube that use, you know, sometimes work out of baggies. I don't, but I know that there are people that do. And also, I've been storing my special drills in these kind of baggies in a separate location. Like this, I don't know, something that's not, it's something that's not working out for me. It's like this plastic baseball card book, but smaller. It's only got four slots on each page. I don't know. It's just not working out for me. And I was looking for an alternative. And um, so... I'll show you what I'm talking about and we can talk about it. It's something that I'm sort of going to use, not for its intended purpose. <laughs> exactly, but sort of. Yeah. Sort of, but exactly, but not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> I am excited about this diamond painting. And I think, I think we're going to have to squeeze this in. I'm going to look online and, um verify that for sure there are some wings present in this picture and if there are this might have to be a second canvas that we do this month for wings and things because hey you guys we are the weirdos and I know that I promised sundown a kit and I will start it as well because I'm super mushy I, I diamond paint all the things <laughs> I, I, do, I do different paintings with different hands at the same time. No, I don't. I, I'm just playing. I will find a way to make it work. All right. And so the other item I got is something that I am probably going to use for special drill storage. But it's really intended to be a kit up situation. Oh, did I say how many colors were in here? You guys, why did you let me put this away without telling you? How many colors are in the painting? Huh? Ha 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 ha. Um, and now I gotta go back through here and look. 30. It's 30 colors. <laughs> if I didn't say it before, I said it now. 30 colors. All right. So, yeah, this, this little portfolio satchel situation, um, I wanted to try it out. Sorry about all the crinkles. Now, I did uh, see recently, and as soon as I saw Eileen on uh, Diamond Crafts by Eileen, the host of Wings and Things event this month, when she was talking about working a kit 
out of the baggies, I knew I had this coming and I was like, oh my gosh, this might be something pretty perfect for someone like Eileen. Uh, and if you're like that too, you might consider this. Now me, I don't have a lot of surface space to store like the big 3D printed, you know, slots and stuff like that. I would have nowhere to really set it. Um, in my crafting space, either in here or in the living room where I often craft as well. And so I'm always looking for alternative storage, either wall hanging or in um, boxes or booklets and stuff like that. So when I saw this, I was like, this might be a good storage option for my special drills. So what we have here is, uh, you know, obviously a little handle situation. It's Velcroed shut, but you take it and you open it. And voila, inside there were these stickers for labeling and there was um, a little package of courtesy baggies. So that's pretty nice. But in here you have, let's see, what is this? Nine and nine, 18, 18 slots that you can use. And it's kind of baseball card style that you can slip your baggies in that you're, when you're kidding up, if you have a smaller diamond painting, or if you have multiple of these, you can use these as your kit. And so if you're of limited space like me, then you can just, you know, I'm done diamond painting for now. I'm going to close it up and set it, you know, beside the couch or, you know, in a shelf or whatever the case may be. And for me, I'm going to use this to store my glow in the dark drills, my ABs, my pixies. I'm going to get multiple of these and that way, um, they'll fit right in here. And then you know, I pull this out when I need it and I'll have labels on here with the baggies telling me what I'm looking at and I'll have multiple of these and I can close it up and put it on my bookshelf. Nice and neat. Just boop on my bookshelf all right beside each other and out of my way. So I, I mean, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. So what do you guys think? Now this is, um, you know, it is kind of flimsier and flexible, which is fine. I don't see a problem with that. It does open all the way. You could use it like this. You could, um, you know, use it flat open. So it is a top loading pocket and this plastic is sewn in here on the sides and on the bottom. And this isn't that weird, um, thin rip. I mean, obviously if you pull too hard, you might rip this. I mean, it is plastic sleeve they do rip but this is this is pretty thick and sturdy uh i'm not too scared about this if i'm being honest um yeah you guys i think this is now for kits the size that i do i would need multiple of these like this was a 30 uh color kit so obviously this is only 18 slots this would not work for this kit but for a smaller kit or if you get a couple of these or do like me and use it for special drill storage this is perfect this is really great all right I'm excited to test this out. Um, I will show you guys probably at some point in the future um, what it looks like filled up with my AB drills and my, and my glow in the darks and you can see how I did it and what I think of it. The only thing I am noting is there is some extra material, a little extra string. There's nothing, you know, that's not a big deal because guess what? Guess what? I have, I have a weapon to defeat this beast boom. Now, now it's gone. Um, you know, not the end of the world, you guys, uh, a little bit of effort to clean it up and make it look just fine. Just where they tie it off. I think somebody maybe just forgot to cut the tie off point. So and there's one down here. Boop. Took care of it. Is there any on the other side? Nope. The other side is just fine. So it is reinforced here too with a, you know, the little bit of edge protection sewn on there too. Really, you guys, for, I believe it was $6.99. And for that price, that's not bad. For about six, seven bucks. Not shabby. All right. Well, what do you guys think of what I got from um, One Day Saving? 
I, I'm excited. I am excited. I am super impressed that they tried to fake me out with this big border and get me all like, oh no. And then I measured it and it was actually a true to size drill field. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, shame on you for tricking me. <laughs> That's not nice. I would never, I would never be that ornery. Golly. <laughs> but no, you guys, I am I am happy. I am hopeful. I'm excited to work on this canvas uh, and see how it the finish renders. I think it could be pretty good. Again, this is one day saving and you can get 5% off with our channel code dark 5 off. And if you buy $50 worth of stuff on their site, you get two free gifts. Free is free is free, baby. I love it. All right, let me know what you think down in the description box below. Did you like the canvas? What, this is what I'm really curious about, you guys. What do you guys think of this, you know, like satchel, briefcase like type sit storage situation? What do you think of it as a kit for a small diamond painting or getting multiple of these and using these as your kits and, and baggy system? Oh, I have it upside down as your kit and baggy system um would you use it that way or what do you think about this for what i'm going to use it for which is special drill storage do you think this would be a good space saver i do i do i have room on my bookshelf and i can get multiple of these fill them up with special drills and just you know put them on the bookshelf pull the 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 one i need pop it open grab my specials and run away so yeah all right, you guys, that's all I have for today. And I thank you for hanging out with me. Tell me what you think. And have you shopped at One Day Saving before? And why didn't you tell me about it before now? How did I have to find this out on my own? Unfair. Unfair. We share. Sharing is caring, you guys. All right. Stay naughty. Stay naughty.